Hey everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. So most of you checking out this video are probably already aware of the control net extension to Auto 11.11 that gives us so much more control over posing of the characters we create in Stable Diffusion. So I'm not here today to show you how to install control net in Auto 11.11. That's already been done multiple times so far by other tutorials on YouTube. But I want to share something that I think is more valuable. That is a hack that I came up with to pose your characters as fast and as low effort as possible. I know most of you are probably already familiar with this magic poser tool and other tools that are similar to this that have already been reviewed by other tutorials on YouTube. While they are helpful, I wanted something that was even easier and required even less effort to create the pose I wanted. So that's where Mixamo comes in. Mixamo is a web-based tool. It's free to use. You just need an Adobe ID. You don't need to have a license for Creative Cloud. Once you have an Adobe ID, you're all set. Once you get set up with Mixamo, you can come into here into the user interface and click on characters. Uh, now it's probably best to use something that's fairly non-stylized, has regular proportions, no accessories. So something like this character works fairly well. Just a basic male character, and I like the fact that he's in this simple black motion capture outfit. The next step after you have your character is to go into the Animations tab and find poses that work for your idea. Or find a pose that's appealing to you, and you can work backwards and create an idea around the pose. So. One way to filter out poses from animations and just to type in pose. And we can see that while there are some animations there still because we have pose in the title, we have isolated most of the poses. So let's find something that is going to work with what we're going to be um, creating. Let's try this female crouch pose. Double click and the posing is done. Now I'm just going to move it around to get an angle that looks right to me going to come in and I think uh, that's going to work. Next thing you do is use something like this snipping tool and just snip out the character. Actually, that's probably a little bit too close to his hand there, so let me just try that again. Uh, that's about right, and then save it out. So we're going to go File, Save As, Capture, and go back into Stable Diffusion. Okay, so here in Stable Diffusion, I'm gonna bring up my download, drop it in, and let's come up with a prompt that kind of matches uh, the story here. Um, let's say HDR photograph of a sneaking assassin wearing leather armor, approaching a sleeping giant with a large giant sized door behind him. And we're going to just leave some of these basic prompts in here. And let's just go down to control net and make sure that looks good. So it's enabled. I'm using open pose, just resize, and that should work. Generate. And it did take a little bit longer than usual because I had high res on. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. Similar, let's take a look at the uh, pose underneath. And if I'm happy with the pose, but I want to change the angle, it's easy enough to go back into Mixamo and just move it around so there's a bit of a different camera angle. For example, maybe I was inspired to change this up a bit. And also I should mention you have this character arm space slider that will allow you to kind of move the distance of the arms. So maybe I want to do something like this where it's sort of looking up and maybe he's uh, sneaking across a bridge with a big moon in the background. And one last thing to show is, back here in Mixamo, not only can you use the poses, but you can also use animations uh, and extract a pose from the animation. So I'm gonna get rid of this crouch for a second here. And let's, um, let's see, like for, for instance, this praying animation here, if we were to apply this, 
and while there is an animation, we can grab any part of the animation by pausing or just kind of scrubbing through and picking the part of the animation that will work well as a pose. So if I want to do more of a just sort of the prayer piece here, change his arms a little bit. So they're not penetrating. And scrub to about there. Pause it. So maybe about there. And I think you get the idea. Now we got a nice pose of him praying. And uh, we extracted that from an animation, not just a pose. There are a number of animations here, and if you use your imagination, you can extract a lot of great poses with minimal effort. So hopefully um, that gave you something to think about. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial today. Hope you learned something. Please give us a like, subscribe to the channel, leave any feedback in the comments below, and hit the bell notification icon so you'll be aware of the next tutorial as it becomes available. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you'll be notified when the next part of this tutorial becomes available.